Hey everyone, my most requested topic when I asked for topics in my How to Choose a Pitch Wars Mentor video was synopses tips. And so this is probably going to be a pretty short video because of my first tip and also because of the way that I do synopses are, are pretty simple, but I will help where I can. So, so my first step for writing a synopsis is stop stressing so much about it. Uh, I feel like a lot of people really, really stress way too much over synopses for what it, what they are. So the whole point of a synopsis is to show the agent or mentor or editor or whoever it is what happens in your book. So they don't have to be like fancy, they don't have to be like artsy, they don't have to be anything remotely as well written as the book itself. They just literally have to tell what happens in the book. That's the only purpose of it. And so when you start to think of it that way, I hope that helps you stress a little bit less about it. Um, so this is how I write a synopsis whenever I need to write them. What I do is I go to each scene in my novel and I write one to two sentences, depending on the scene, um, about what happens in that scene that moves the plot forward, right? And then I put all those in sequential order. <laughs> Then I just build transitionary sentences in between there whenever they're needed and kind of like, you know, just do a little bit of tweaking here and there to make it flow and to make it make sense. Now, I like this method a lot because what happens is if you come upon a scene and you can't come up with a sentence to explain what happens in that scene, or you may come up with a sentence and be like, this doesn't really make sense for the plot. <laughs> It's also a good diagnostic tool to see if you have any scenes that aren't really carrying their weight in your book. Now the other method that especially will work if you're trying to write a shorter synopsis, so like a one page synopsis, is if you do a beat sheet, um, which I love beat sheets, the Save the Cat beat sheet, I use that. I actually use the original screenplay one, I don't use the modified one for novels. But it is um, totally up to you. So if you do use that, it is a great tool for writing a synopsis because you just, for each beat, you write a sentence or two depending on the beat. You know, some, some beats are like smaller, you know, instances, and then some beats are kind of like larger things. Um, so you write a sentence to four or five sentences for the beat, depending on the size of the beat. And then that should be your story. That should be your core story there already ready for you to go. Now, uh, in synopses, remember you do tell the ending of the story in the synopsis. That is very important. That's how, that's a major difference between a synopsis and a query, is a query is short and a teaser, and synopsis is longer and tells the entire story from beginning to end. The other thing I would caution is to make sure that you have not only your plot arc in the synopsis, but also your main character arc. So your main character should go through changes in the book and end up usually a slightly different person than they were at the beginning. So you want to make sure to include that character arc in the synopsis as well and make sure that comes through. Other than that, I don't really have any tips because I think once you accept the synopsis has one job and does not have to be fancy and does not have to be, you know, this great document, um, then you can write a synopsis pretty quickly because no one's judging a synopsis based on really the quality of the writing. Of course, you want it to be clean and concise and in third person um, POV, whether or not the book is in third person or first person, but uh, it doesn't have to be really fancy at all. Um, so don't, please don't stress about it. I don't know how to say this any different way, but it's really not a big a deal as a lot of people make it out to be. It's supposed to serve a purpose. It's not supposed to be art. So I hope that helps. I don't know if it did or not. You, uh, if you need more information about synopsis, there are several different other people who have great things to say about it and I will link to them down in the description. But my main tip and my biggest tip is just to not worry about it as much as you are. Now for Pitch Wars, we do require a one page synopsis and that does have to pit, fit on a one page, you know, standard letter size page, 
with standard text, standard formatting. So just Times New Roman, 12 point font, one inch margins, you know, 1.0 line spacing. <laughs> Don't do any of that weird stuff. And as long as it fits in that page limit, then it will fit in the form on our website. We don't give out the character limit and we don't give out the word limit, but uh, you just want to make sure it fits on the one page and then you will be totally good to go, I promise you. So as long as you're not doing anything weird with your formatting, as long as you're not trying to play any games and it fits on a one page, you're gonna be totally, totally fine. Thank you so much for watching. If you thought this was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.